And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of the various of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at People government doing, college, Ujeli. Go, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the, with the camp, and, uh, and uh, that other camp, the Songo camp, you know, compensate everybody. But some of them. In its key generation sometimes, today our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some are lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Hey, good evening. You're welcome to the program Green Planet. Good day and welcome to People, Places and Events and thank you very much for talking to the African Center for Community and Development. What are your names, sir? I am Barista Ntungwa Mpaku Francis. And you practice law in which country? Precisely in the Republic of Cameroon, residing in Limbe, where I run Horizon Law Chambers as an issue of legal partnership. Let's take on to women. It has um, been sold, especially out of Africa, that women are not protected um, by the law in most sub-Saharan African countries. What are, what are your reactions to this? Firstly, we talk about women in question. There are two types of women. There are career women and there are rural women. Career women doesn't mean that they are much more educated, but they are learned and intelligent. And royal women doesn't mean that they don't go to school too, but they have a level. They are at some issues. The firstly, the president of Liberia, the president, the present president is a woman. But before they could go for election, people neglected. People thought it otherwise. There are some Africans, even by their own nature, where they come from naturally, they feel that a woman cannot inherit. A woman cannot rule people. A woman cannot stand among people and say something when men are around. But what we are saying is that women are equal so far as they have the quality, give them the chance, the opportunity to manifest their intention. But in both, that's where we Africans, particularly and the Asians, that's where we fall short of the Europeans and the Americans. Because women have grown up. There are many women in the Senate. There are many women in the House of Commons. There are many judges who are women. There are pilots who are women. But what is important is that in Africa, we believe as men that women are under us. But I want to hint this issue that no. Since the decision in she become she become at least through because the government of the case of she become at least through versus Zamcho Florence Loom and five others, it was said that a woman too can inherit the father's property. That was a rational. The court of the case by Justin Noah Guy and others. Justin Bawak. But I, I also think they have been protected by Cameroonian law because um, by extrapolation, if um, uh, by virtue of section 11 of um, the Southern Cameroon High Court Law 1955, which um, makes it possible for the importation of Married Women's Properties Act 1882, um, uh, women are also protected in terms of like unmarried women can inherit and so on. Don't you think that is favoring um, women and also supporting issues like um, extramarital um, affairs? In the first place, the Marriage Women um, uh, Property Act of 1882 was a post 1900, a, a pre-1900 law. Saudi Cameroon High Court law was a post-1900 law. But by virtual section 11, it now says you can bring in received laws. It was brought in. It supported the property women to inherit. But the fact that women inherit does not. A woman who inherit needs to marry. And the law does not stop her not to marry. 
behaving otherwise socially might be a woman's idea. What we are saying is that there is no favor. I want to categorically say it. There is no favor that has been done to women if they say unmarried women can inherit or women will inherit by virtue of Section 11 of Southern Cameroon High Court law. What? Even in the agency of salvage, where in your own house, somebody you live with your girlfriend, and this that she is a one who by 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 the virtue of the fact that you were out, fire almost caught your home. She salvaged your property. She has no right to own them, but she has a right to compensation. What we are saying is, on married women, fiancés and relationship have the right to compensation at the end of the break of that friendship. But it cannot be realized as a work, as a legal theory, or as a legal advantage that you not inherit your dead boyfriend or your dead concubine's property. It is unheard of. So if by extrapolation they marginalize our poor rural women and um, maybe villagers and so on, or people who do not have access to to um, road networks and they are cut off from major city centers and so on. So are you also saying that um, justice is not accessible to poor people in Cameroon and women? On the other hand, those who are marginalized can only be reached through considerable effort of Cameroonians who are loyal like lawyers, like judges. There are policemen who can step out of police function and go further to help in an inaccessible, inaccessible area. There are lawyers who can do a case on the contrary to a poor man or to a poor household. But generally what we are seeing, it is not the talk of the day. What is germane is that practically it is justice access to justice in Cameroon, to the downtrodden, is totally difficult, so but not impossible. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. And I hope through this venue, your wonderful ideas and vision for the legal practice in Cameroon shall reach out to the millions that are going to be watching you. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various techniques of our people. This was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at people government away. college, yeah, Ujeli. And go, uh, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the camp. That other camp, some go camp. You don't compensate everybody. But some of them. In its key generation sometimes. Today our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer. And we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.